Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Adrian, and I just had baby number two about six weeks ago. This is my postpartum update. First, I will update you on Tucker, our baby boy, and then I will update you on myself. So if you're interested, subscribe, share this video, and give it a thumbs up, and keep watching. Technically, today, we are actually seven weeks out, but last week was just crazy. I don't even know what happened and why I didn't film this six week update, but here we are, and I'm being honest with you, this is seven weeks, so um, everything is sort of over the last five, six, seven, I guess five and six weeks, so. It's because my last update was weeks three and four postpartum. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. First we will talk about Tucker and he is starting to wake up so much more. He's having more awake time during the day and it's really fun to see his little smiles come out and he looks at you, you know, and you can tell he's actually like taking in your features and he realizes, um, especially if it's me, like he hears my voice and then he sees me and he goes, it's so precious. I just love it. He is a little bit less less gassy and having fewer tummy issues, which is good because he was grunting so much at night. He is grunting less. However, it I mean, it's still there. And what we think is happening is that he's grunting because he has gas and he's trying to relieve himself or he's trying to poop. That's his way of getting it getting it down and getting it out. It is less and less. He used to grunt almost all night long. <laughs> that was very exhausting, but now it's it's just less. At night, he wakes up every two hours. I was hoping at this point we would be at least three hours or maybe a nice stretch of four or five would become consistent because there have been a couple of nights where it's been like, oh, a nice stretch of four or five hours. But as of recently, he's waking up every two hours. It is clockwork. Like, I know that if I feed him at 10.30, he's waking at 12.30, 2.30, 4.30, and 6.30. And that's just it, and that's how our day is gonna go. <laughs> and it's really frustrating because he wakes up at that last one, like let's say 6.30, and he'll go back to sleep for another two hours <laughs> until about 8.30. And sometimes I will sleep those extra two hours. My husband will be with our other child, with Weston, and he'll let me sleep those other two hours. But sometimes, you know, you're just up for the day and that's it. We have been practicing more tummy time and that's kind of fun to do. He'll get down on the ground or I'll put him down on the ground on his tummy and his brother Weston will come right up to him and I've been saying this a lot. I've been saying, look how strong you are. Go Tucker, go, you're so strong. And Weston will wanna lay next to him too. And I'm like, Weston, you're strong too. He's two years old. <laughs> and he'll sit down, he'll lay down and put his head up just like Tucker is. And it's so funny. But then he tells Tucker as well, like, look how strong you are, Tuck Tuck. Good job, Tuck Tuck. It's so cute. Tucker is spitting up quite a bit still. And that's something that I don't know if there's something you can do about that. Please let me know if you have any suggestions on how to keep the baby from spitting up. You can hear him in the background. He's just a noisy talker. Yeah, hi, honey. He's in his swing right now. He just woke up, didn't you? I'll probably bring him into the picture in a minute. Here he is. Say hi, Tucker. And based off of my calculations from like weighing myself and then putting him on the scale with me, I know that that's not completely accurate, but that's what I did this morning. And he is about 11 pounds. He was born seven pounds, one ounce. So he's, I think he's 11 pounds and one ounce, 11 one. Yeah, you're a big boy, aren't you? This is so much bigger for us. This is so much bigger than Weston ever was at this age. Weston, I remember, weighed around 11, 12 pounds when he was five, six months old. So this guy, yeah, you're gonna be our big boy, aren't you? 
He's already in three month clothes and he's just a little peanut. We love him so much. Yeah, good boy. All right, we are gonna move on into how things have been going for me. Come here, my little buddy. Okay. Six week postpartum update. I'm definitely physically feeling back to myself. And I do remember saying in my week three and four update that I wasn't gonna try to push it and lose weight too quickly or anything like that. And I'm not gonna do any drastic diets. However, the scale has not moved like at all. And sometimes it's going up. So I need to stop eating the junk food. I it was like loving Halloween. I was like, yes, candy, 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 chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I think in my mind, I thought, and breastfeeding, like it's fine. Just this Halloween, you can totally enjoy. Eat all the Reese's cups that you want to, all of those peanut butter pumpkins. I love those chocolate peanut butter pumpkins that Reese's does. It's like my favorite. And they are different from the cups, from the Reese's cups. I love them. The trees for Christmas, I love them. They are my all time favorite candy, for sure. My all time favorite candy. And so, when they're around, it's just like, oh, after lunch, I'll have one. After dinner, I'll have one. The minis, we're talking the minis. <laughs> and then I'll have ice cream and, you know, oh, I'll have a donut for breakfast. Like, oh, I have to stop doing that and it's not good to eat that much sugar. I need you guys to hold me accountable and help me out with this. We are getting back to our meal planning. We have to get back to the way that things were probably during like the second trimester because the third trimester, I just let myself go and we were ordering out a lot. Those habits were carried over and I just gotta get back to it, you guys. Do have a Beachbody membership, so I might get back into, there are, I think there are some postpartum workouts. I'm gonna check it out, and if I like them, I will certainly let you know about it. I might do a video on it. We will see. I did have my six week checkup, my doctor's appointment at the OB's office, and I saw the nurse practitioner, and I was cleared. Everything is good, totally good. The one thing, I just find this so funny. The one thing that they talked to me about, like, very clearly, she was like, so what form of birth control are you gonna be using? And I told her that I, I was not planning on taking any birth control and um, you know that it took a while with Weston to get pregnant, it took a while with Tucker to get pregnant, and we would like to have more children. So I wasn't gonna be taking any. And she was like very firm in telling me that it was best for our, your body to wait at least 12 months and really ideally to wait 18 months um, until you get pregnant again. We did start trying with Tucker. We started trying when Weston was like 10 months old. We missed a couple of months and it took about six months of actually trying to get pregnant with him. Weston was, I think he was 18 or 19 months old when I found out I was pregnant with Tucker. So that was like the ideal amount of time, right? But part of me is really like thinking we should just, do this like if we're gonna have more kids we should just bang it out and like yeah you want a little brother or sister and we should just do it and I really like being pregnant so I know our family members you're probably watching and you're like Adrian you are crazy you are nuts like you guys don't even have it together enough like what are you talking about but I just don't really feel like we need to wait the full year and to start trying because for us it doesn't happen right away like we don't get pregnant right away so we will see we will not start trying right now we are definitely not going to start trying right now <laughs> um, or even in the next couple of months but eventually we will start trying to have baby number three okay so we're back again it's way later in the night you can probably tell because it's dark outside and the lights are on in the inside of the house and it's probably just darker on me i do have my ring light on but <laughs> the toddler woke up weston woke up from his nap and he has the beginning of what is bronchitis so i was just I needed to go to him and he has not been feeling well today. We are trying to make sure that this little guy does not get sick. Whew, it's so scary. And that leads me to the next thing that's just been going on. And I would consider this maybe 
postpartum anxiety. I didn't have any issues with like the baby blues or postpartum depression. I haven't had any yet. I know that sometimes they can even come on a little bit later. However, I've been pretty much in the clear with a lot of things. But when it comes to anxiety, I know that I had postpartum anxiety with Weston. I got so anxious about the car seat. Like that's where all of my anxiety went to. I thought for sure he was gonna like suffocate in there. He was gonna slump down. He was gonna crush his air pipe and, and that would be it. I was so anxious about it. I am fine about the car seat now with Tucker. I feel really good about it. It's fine. However, my anxiety goes to the relationship between Weston and Tucker and that Weston can be trusted around him. He loves his brother. He loves on his brother so much, so hard that that's where the problem comes in, that he just wants to touch him all the time and he's sick and he's you know, not doing well, and so I'm just so concerned that he is going to give whatever he has to Tucker. Um, we did go see the doctor. Weston did go see the doctor. He is on an antibiotic. Yeah. So soon he shouldn't be contagious anymore, but oh my goodness. It's just like, it brings me so much anxiety <laughs> because this little one has not had any vaccinations yet, obviously. Are you okay? He like throws himself forward. He hasn't had any of his vaccinations yet. Um, that will happen at eight weeks. And he, you know, he's just a little guy. And so he could get really sick. Yeah, we don't want that. Right. Oh, he's tired too. He's ready to go to bed. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I am gonna show you my six week postpartum belly. This will be the last time that you're gonna see it. <laughs> okay, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt um, that I got from Target, I think last season. It's like really, really cozy and I love the textured pattern on it. And I'm also wearing these, um, I think they're control top like leggings. They're workout leggings from whatever that Target brand is that Champion does with them, I think. Um, I love these leggings and I think they were pretty cheap too. So, there's my belly from the front. From the side, like I said, I have not lost any more weight and things are kind of looking exactly the same. If you ask me, I mean, I can suck it in though. I can engage my ab muscles. That feels good. Probably see my panty line. <laughs> Okay, that is going to be it for me here today at my six week postpartum update. I hope that these have helped you out in your postpartum recovery. Uh, I am still planning on putting together some more videos. I kind of took, I kind of took what I might consider a little bit of maternity leave. I, bless you Tucker. I was still uploading videos, but I wasn't as on top of it as I wanted to be. That is the plan moving forward. I plan on uploading, like I said, at least twice a week. I will have some videos out for you. So make sure that bell notification is turned on so you know when I upload a video. I hope to see you guys very soon. Love you. Good night. Tucker, say hello to everybody. <laughs> oh, sweet boy. I love this little onesie that he has on. It's got little bears all over it because you're a little baby bear. Huh? Say goodnight, everybody. <laughs> Love you.